Hey, how's it going, people of the internet? My name is Craig, and I think it's always a great start when there's a J.J. Abrams lens for a joke at the beginning of the video. But today, I want to talk about an assortment of topics, one being Final Stand. Now, I know I'm a bit late to the party, mostly because the first day that I booted up Community Test Environment to go test a new DLC, I didn't like the first map. And I believe the reason I didn't like the map was my expectations were a bit too high, maybe out of realism. DICE did deliver what they said they were going to deliver, but personally I felt since this was the last DLC for Battlefield 4 and Heartline is coming out real soon, they'll kind of give a special little effort into this DLC and make it really special and memorable for all the players because no one wants to remember Battlefield 4 as the buggiest battlefield ever. It's a really sad story of this game and pretty much how it has went down so far. But I was just expecting a lot more from DICE and maybe you guys think the 2142 theme is enough personally. I want to see Battlefield 4 remembered for being Battlefield 4 and not Battlefield 3 or 2142. All in all, I believe the final stand wasn't really a loss in creativity. I feel that it was the first DLC to finally distinguish itself from the base game. Now a lot of you guys did ask me how does Final Stand fit into the storyline. Well, it pretty much proves that the battlefields are connected now. Battlefield 3 is connected to Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 4 is connected to Battlefield 2142. Now what has happened in Final Stand is that the US has found the secret weapons and I'm guessing is now sieging it. Now you can see that Russia mostly has all the special technology on their side. So I believe Russia was developing these weapons and the US has now proper intel. Now I'm not sure if 2142 is just like a hundred year war, most likely the war of 2020 ends and then a new one starts up. That would explain how all the technology in Final Stand was modernized. Because just like the original tank was made out of collaboration of Britain and France in World War I, then of course copied and adopted by many other countries, the hover tank was just made by Russia. And if Russia had won this 2020 war, which I believe they did not, the world would have been conquered by Russia. But that is just my theory, and if you guys have a theory of your own, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. But before I go, there's a lot of news to share with you guys. One being that CTE is coming to console. Well, I should probably word that a bit different. One being that if you own premium on console now, you can have access to CTE on PC. Now, one thing about this is that you're going to have to have a PC that can run Battlefield 4. But CTE isn't all about actually playing. If you feel that you don't have a PC that can run Battlefield 4, you can always give community feedback in the forums. It's a great place to share your ideas and let your voice be heard. I hope you guys don't just riot because DICE really wants to put CTE on console, but they do not own those platforms. And I'm, I'm guessing it will be quite hard to publish frequent updates on a platform that you do not own but if you guys can hang in there for just a few more weeks in the end week of September DICE will finally release this mega patch that pretty much fixes everything in Battlefield 4. Now currently DICE is working on the team play initiative and that won't be worked into this patch but I'm pretty sure along with a lot of other fixes is going to be worked into the next one. So stay strong Battlefielders, Battlefield 4 is finally going to be fixed after 11 months and we can all go home and eat our cereal. Anyway guys, thanks for stopping by. The next Armor 3 Breaking Point episode is going to be up next week. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, I would say it's well worth it and I would recommend it. I hope to improve the series more to you guys liking. You guys seem to really like it and I hope you enjoy the series the more it escalates. Anyway guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys later. Stay right up.